All right, peoples, today we're making three rye whiskey cocktails that are gonna knock your socks off, thanks to today's video sponsor, Shaker and Spoon. Shaker and Spoon were kind enough to send me this monthly subscription box. You can check out shakerandspoon.com slash Steve the Bartender to get $20 off your first subscription box. But this little box is excellent. I haven't tried the cocktails yet, so I'm gonna try them live on camera uh, and let you know my thoughts, and they should knock our socks off. First of all, you get some ingredient cards and a little bit of background about the box itself. The recipes for these cocktails are actually crafted by three professional bartenders. Then you get recipe cards, uh, full descriptions on how to mix it up. So even if you're a beginner bartender, then it's all done for you. It's even got a glossary, breaks down the terms as far as the glassware and dry shaking, wet shaking, all that kind of stuff. Really cool. So we're gonna make three cocktails today, but first I'm gonna check out the box and see what's inside. So the first cocktail I'm gonna make out of the three is the Baklava Sour. And the box comes with everything except the whiskey itself. So you don't get the alcohol, you get all the ingredients, the mixes, the syrups, the bitters, uh, coffee in this case. And of course, you don't get the egg because you don't wanna be shipping eggs, obviously, but you do get the lemons, you do get the citrus, which is cool. So this particular recipe calls for rye whiskey, a baklava syrup, which is made in house and cardamom bitters. So let's get cracking on the cocktail. Keep in mind that cold brew coffee uh, for one of the cocktails, you need to brew this ahead of time, so you've got 12 hours to, to steep this overnight before filtering. Just keep that in mind if you get the all eyes on the right box. And on the website, there's recommendations on what particular bottles you should use with this box. Uh, in this case, uh, one of them was written House Rye, uh, which is fantastic because I have it sitting on the shelf, ready to go. Written House Rye, bottled in bond, sits at 100 proof. Um, nice and spicy, a uh, little bit higher proof, so Going to stand up nicely in all of these cocktails. So the Baklava Sour was created by Moni Bunny and it includes flavors of honey, walnut, and rose in the, the Baklava syrup, which is made in-house by the team Shaker and Spoon. Uh, let's get started straight onto the cocktail. So this one here calls for two ounces of, of rye whiskey or 60 ml. Add that into the cocktail shaker. Nice and easy recipe this one. It's just uh, three quarter ounce 22.5 mil of the baklava syrup. Ooh, that smells excellent. And likewise for the fresh lemon juice, three quarter ounce, 22.5 mil, freshly squeezed. And these cute little bottles contain the cardamom bitters. Two dashes, so one, two, it's awesome. Uh, once I finish with this bitters, I'm definitely gonna reuse the bottle. And then egg whites. So I've got about half an egg white in there. And you wanna start by dry shaking. Only brief, then add ice and give it a second shake for 10 to 12 seconds. Your glass and then double strain. And then it's finished with another three drops of cardamom bitters gently placed on top. Then you get those aromatics as you lift the glass to your mouth. Ignore this little bottle here, that's for the next two cocktails. And then you have the buckle of our sour. Cheers. Mm. Definitely reminds me of the baklava dessert. There was actually a, a little bakery around the corner from my old warehouse, where I, where I used to have my studio actually. And they used to make the best baklava. Literally every single Saturday, we'd go past, grab some baklava, and uh, this brings back fond memories. That's a wicked riff on a sour. Cocktail number two from the Shaker and Spoon box is the Creole Sling, right up my alley. Uh, it's got a little bit of coffee in there, rye whiskey, and a maple syrup, which is infused with cinnamon and vanilla. Vanilla, yum. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start with uh, two ounces of rye whiskey. So we're just gonna use the same bottle across all three cocktails. So add that in, two ounces, 60 ml. Then we've got the cold brew coffee, half an ounce, 15 ml. And then the cinnamon and vanilla infused maple syrup, quarter ounce, seven and a half ml. That's real vanilla -y. We have three dashes of these adorable chicory bitters. One, two, 
These bottles are so good. I'm gonna add some ice and stir for, according to their instructions, 20 to 40 seconds. Probably go about 22, 23 seconds. I definitely go on the lower end of the recommendation of that, that time for stirring, uh, purely because you're gonna stir it down, serve it on the rock on ice, and therefore it's gonna dilute further in the glass. So I prefer to under dilute it. Ooh, can smell that chicory. Kind of like a bit of a chicory and coffee note coming through. It smells good. Spicy. Serving on a giant rustic looking clear cube. It's raining over the top. Cube's too big. And then finish with orange oil. This is ingenious, this little part, rather than obviously trying to include a giant orange in the box. They've they've expressed the oils and then added it into an oil themselves and one spritz. Perfect. They have the Creole sling. Cheers. Citrusy. I love coffee old fashions, coffee slings. So this is this is no different and just the the sweetener is is spiced and it's got vanilla and it's it's maple. It's Delicious. Subtle notes of chicory. Yeah, this is wicked. And cocktail number three from today's subscription box is the Homestead Old Fashioned. Two stir downs, I love this. All right, so obviously it's a rye whiskey cocktail because it's a rye whiskey video. So we're gonna measure out two ounces, 60 ml of rye. And then we've got a syrup. So this one is a winter spice syrup. Uh, spices being green cardamom, uh, cinnamon sticks, pink peppercorns, cloves, a little touch of citric in there as well. Citric is almost the acid is a for shelf life, I'm assuming. Um, but yeah, cardamom, cinnamon, pink pepper. So 15 ml, half an ounce of winter spice syrup. Well, the cinnamon's really prominent in that. And we've got three dashes of black pepper bitters. Pain, spy, right. And orange bitters, likewise. One, two, three. The tea pipettes on these are fantastic. If you sign up for Shaker and Spoon, make sure you save these bottles and then you could essentially, or you could take this stuff on a plane with you. That'd be perfect. You could pack it in, in your, your carry-on and use this for cocktails on a flight. Perfect. Add ice and then stir this one down for, again, about 20 seconds. It's an old fashioned. It's straight over the rock. Rocks, rock. Single rock, many rocks, completely up to you. Even comes with a couple of maraschino cherries uh, by a company called Filthy Food. Interesting name. But reading the reviews of Shaker and Spoon, there was a lot of people that pointed out how good these cherries actually were. Pop one on top, save one for later. And then likewise for the sling with the old fashioned as well, a single spray of orange oil over the top. They have an old fashioned, homestead old fashioned. Cheers. I'd have to say number three is going to be quite possibly my favorite of the, uh, the three cocktails in the, the Shaker and Spoon box. The cinnamon and the black pepper work really, really nicely together. And the orange, the spice, like you got lots of spice in there. It is wintry, but hell, it's great for fall as well. It's a little bit sweet, but it's good. It's not overly sweet. I really, really dig this. If you're in the US and you're considering signing up for Shaker and Spoon, Make sure you go to shakerandspoon.com slash Steve the bartender so that you can get $20 off your subscription. If you enjoyed today's three rye whiskey cocktails, make sure you check out these seven bourbon whiskey cocktails right here.